Listen, I don't never take no handouts from nobody, okay? Never, nothing for free, bruh. Here is money. Never, never take handouts. Peace. So I've been thinking about writing a coffee table book. All about milk tables. Milk tables. So, I was watching these kids walk from like their bus stop to their house outside of outside of my house. And you know, I just thought it was like really unlikely that just there'd be such a cluster of the ugliest motherfucking unmolestable children all right, all right, in all right. my we're fucking we're neighborhood. We're shut it down. I am I am sorry about that. So Jack, what happened out there today? I don't know, man. I mean, you just, you know, things happen and you just, you make snap decisions, you know? And you don't think twice. Because when that chair, when that chair was looking at my friend that way, I just, I just fucking had it with that fucking chair. I've had bad balance for all my life. It's just kind of something I was born with. I was suspended about three times from school. For being drunk at school, actually. But it was actually just the falling thing. I mean, I probably could have just told them about it. But I forgot. So they kind of just, they kind of just figured I was drunk for always. At about third grade, I'd have to say, is when I've got expelled from school, and it's been pretty hard since not being educated, they call it, I believe. At two years old, I got put into rehab for, uh, I like to call it speech therapy, but it's really because I couldn't fucking walk. I know it's because I couldn't fucking walk. Whenever I would fall over around my friends, they would laugh most of the time. At, at, at least sometimes. And uh, it would honestly kind of be just like a... Uh, they would ask me, oh, are you alright? And like, yeah, I was alright, but I fucking heard that. The damage is done. You, you don't, you can't just laugh at me. Chronic falling is actually a genetic trait that runs in my family. Um, both for my mother and my father. Uh, it's two separate chronic fallers I actually met on, um, chronic falling Tinder. It's, a uh, it's, a uh, new in the app store. Check it out. If you're a chronic faller, I don't, we don't need you, you we don't need you chucklers. My father died when I was very young, uh, still in the womb actually, so not even aged much. Uh, he died at the height of the Appalachian Mountains. He was right at the edge, which as a chronic follower you would think maybe don't do that. And uh, he just like fell backwards while facing outwards towards the... So, okay, no, so basically... He's on the mountain, there's the fall, he fell backwards, hit his head, got a concussion, died. Yeah, he hit, he hit his head on a rock. Two feet fall. More like five feet. He's not two feet tall. I don't think. Never met him, actually. He, he could be. Um, actually, I saw pictures. He wasn't, but... Uh, could be. I like to think he could be. And uh, my mother is still with us today. She lives in her lovely Massachusetts home. And this is my life.
Lightly Suburban. Lightly Suburban Productions. Ah, I beat you.